So we saw Kantan actually summons a demon named Nico Sin, who actually learned a new spell that actually will send out against the trio. So we knew that he was going to take their sacred jewels from them, which we knew that his new spell will actually will work. So we actually seen Toa and Sesuna was actually was informed by Kohaku about Nikosin poisoning the land, which we seen him actually using that poison already, which everything actually is rotting away, including the ground and the plants, which Moraha actually is there as well. So we knew that they were actually had to find Nico Sin, but we actually knew that to I mean, Toa actually felt weird ever since the poison demons, which we actually thought that she's still suffering from the effect, but it's something different. We actually see Nico Sin actually arrive and she, he using his poison against them, but it actually takes a toll on Toa, which she cannot sense any demon energy n near near anywhere. But we actually seen her getting weaker. But we actually seen Sesina go after Nico Sin after his head was cut off, but his body is still there. But we seen Moha carrying Toa, but his body is still there, which grows a new head. Then we seen him cut off the bridge with them on it, and they fell off. But then Toa's hair has changed from silver to black, which the same thing happened to Iyasha, which we seen Milka actually explain what's happening because she is suffering from the new moon, which it actually happens to Iyasha when he actually changed from half demon to human when he actually experienced this. But Toa actually realized that it could actually happen to Sesuna. Sesuna began to experience the same thing that Toa is experiencing. So now they actually come up with a plan to actually deal with Nico Sin. So we actually seen Moha using the barriers, I mean the barriers to actually hold him off. However, we actually see him crashing through without going through the barriers. But we actually see him using the spell that turned him into stone. However, we seen Sesuna arrive on time to break the spell. But we actually saw Toa is back to normal when the sun actually appeared and she defeated Nico Sin. But they actually wonder why Sesuna isn't affected by the new moon because she actually has no dreams because the dream butterfly took them away. So we actually knew that she wasn't affected, but Kun Tun actually saw it f through his fire so we knew that he's going to figure out a new plan or one of the four perils is going to come up with one as well. Now this episode actually show us a classic part where Iyasha was actually have his hair change black but then we see Toa actually experiencing the same thing. So we knew that even though that she is only half demon, she actually had her powers gone, but only through the effects of the new moon. So we actually seen her get them back when the sun actually show up. 
So we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy Jr. here saying signing out. Laters, and be safe.